Imin Hasanov's Superhuman Mind is an insightful exploration into the awe-inspiring capabilities of the human brain. This book is a guide to unlocking your full potential, transforming you into the most extraordinary version of yourself. It presents a series of lessons drawing from psychology, philosophy, and ancient wisdom. Designed to expand your mental capabilities, you will learn to reshape your thought processes, establish positive habits, visualize and actualize your goals, and realize your innermost desires. The book's primary aim is to help you recognize and harness the amazing talents and abilities you already possess. It promises a journey of internal transformation, capable of altering the course of your life. The first lesson is about the power of beginning. Starting a new endeavor often seems daunting, but once initiated, a remarkable dynamic comes into play, propelling you towards achieving your goal. The future may appear intimidating, but focusing on one step at a time ensures steady progress. This philosophy champions the idea that action breeds further action. The book illustrates that when you courageously take the first step, unexpected doors start to open, resources become accessible, and assistance appears seemingly from nowhere. It emphasizes that your creative energies are unleashed, and enthusiasm overwhelms any initial hesitation. The lesson teaches that to activate these forces, one must first send out the signal by beginning. In doing so, you catalyze the creative powers that exist in realms beyond our immediate perception. It encourages taking the first step with determination, setting in motion a self-sustaining momentum that can bring to life new possibilities, ideas, and fortuitous connections. In its second lesson, Superhuman Mind, addresses the multifaceted nature of success. It stresses that success is not a one-dimensional concept bound by societal standards of fame and wealth, but a deeply personal achievement stemming from a life lived in alignment with one's unique talents, values, and sense of purpose. The book urges you to consider alternative routes to success, emphasizing that true passion often lies in exploration rather than just academic accolades. It presents the idea that experiences, including overcoming challenges, can mold inspiring leaders. The book advocates for bold innovation and the fulfillment derived from positively impacting society through everyday actions rather than seeking overt recognition. This lesson reinforces the concept that by being in tune with ourselves and boldly forging our own path, we can define success on our own terms. It encourages readers to resist societal pressures and external judgments that may label nonconformity as failure. Instead, by understanding and valuing our unique talents and goals, we take control of our lives, shaping them in line with our deepest desires. Lesson 3 of Superhuman Mind revolves around the concept of self-blessing and recognizing our innate worthiness. This section emphasizes the importance of internal validation in allowing ourselves to both give and receive blessings. The lesson suggests that doubts about our self-worth can act as barriers to receiving life's blessings. Through the practice of self-affirmation and nurturing self-care, the book guides readers to overcome these mental blocks. It advises engaging in practices such as positive self-talk, treating oneself with kindness, and embracing personal growth. This lesson is about cultivating a mindset where you acknowledge and celebrate your worth, allowing you to share your abundance with others and be open to receiving the same in return. The fourth lesson in Superhuman Mind discusses the transformative power of visualization and acting as if. This section focuses on how adopting a certain mindset and belief can significantly enhance the likelihood of realizing our goals. It delves into the concept of using our imagination to craft and inhabit the reality we wish to achieve. The lesson underscores how visualization is a potent tool used by athletes, architects, educators, and many other professionals to optimize performance and outcomes. It encourages readers to define a clear vision, 
immerse in the emotions of that reality, and engage all senses to make the visualization tangible. The practice involves replaying this mental scenario repeatedly, followed by taking action as if success is inevitable. This method aligns internal beliefs with external actions, effectively setting the stage for the realization of one's goals. In Lesson 5, Superhuman Mind explores the profound impact of smiling authentically with our eyes and heart. The lesson highlights the depth of communication that can be achieved beyond facial expressions. It emphasizes that a genuine smile, one that synchronizes our internal emotions with our external expression, can deeply connect us with others. The book encourages readers to engage in interactions with positive intentions, using the power of a heartfelt smile to create an atmosphere of trust, peace, and positivity. It illustrates how smiles can bridge cultural, age, and gender gaps, promoting well-being and relaxation in both the giver and the receiver. This lesson imparts the importance of smiling not just as a superficial gesture, but as a powerful tool for authentic human connection. In Lesson 6, Superhuman Mind delves into the concept of generating an inner glow that radiates outward. This lesson underscores the importance of self-care and trusting one's intuition to cultivate a state of inner well-being that positively influences all aspects of life. It guides readers to use affirmations and embodiment techniques, encouraging them to engage in activities that nurture their mental, emotional, and physical health. This part of the book emphasizes the connection between inner peace and outer radiance suggesting that a harmonious inner state can lead to positive experiences and interactions in the external world. Lesson 7 focuses on the significance of recognizing and fulfilling the fundamental human needs in ourselves and others. The book discusses how unmet needs can lead to various issues such as conflict, addiction, and self-destructive behaviors. It emphasizes the power of empathetic understanding and providing support to others in fulfilling their basic emotional requirements. This lesson teaches that by creating an environment of empathy and support, we can foster deeper connections and help heal emotional traumas, contributing to overall well-being in society. The eighth lesson in Superhuman Mind explores the daily choices we face that determine our path towards progress or decline. It highlights the importance of understanding that we are constantly evolving, and our decisions play a crucial role in this process. The lesson encourages readers to embrace small, positive actions and habits that lead to improvement and growth. It warns against neglect, indifference, and the allure of instant gratification, which can lead to stagnation or decline. This section of the book reinforces the idea that continuous conscious effort is key to personal development and achievement. In Lesson 9, the book challenges readers to become so proficient and accomplished in their endeavors that their abilities cannot be doubted. This lesson focuses on self-motivation, dedication, and the journey towards mastering one's skills and talents. It addresses the barriers of self-doubt and external negativity, encouraging readers to focus on their unique strengths and persist despite challenges. The lesson underscores the importance of recognizing and embracing one's abilities and using them to achieve greatness. Lesson 10 of Superhuman Mind addresses the importance of viewing failure not as a setback, but as a fundamental step towards success. It challenges the conventional perception that excellence is about avoiding errors, instead presenting failure as an essential part of the learning process. This lesson encourages readers to see mistakes as opportunities for growth and development, emphasizing that many of the greatest achievements in history have stemmed from the willingness to take risks and learn from failures. The book advocates for a shift in mindset where setbacks are not feared, but are embraced as valuable lessons guiding us towards our unique paths to success. In Lesson 11, 
the book explores the power of humility in overcoming fear and worry. It highlights how acknowledging our limitations opens us up to wisdom and guidance beyond our own understanding. This lesson discusses the liberation found in surrendering our ego and accepting that we don't have all the answers. By embracing humility, the book suggests we can gain a broader perspective that goes beyond personal gain, aligning ourselves with principles that benefit society as a whole. This shift in mindset allows us to connect with a deeper sense of purpose and tranquility, reducing fear and anxiety. The twelfth lesson in Superhuman Mind focuses on the impact of compounding daily efforts. It emphasizes that significant achievements often result from consistent, small actions over time. This lesson draws parallels with the concept of marginal gains in various fields, where continuous small improvements lead to substantial long-term success. The book encourages readers to appreciate the power of daily habits and choices in shaping their future, stressing the importance of persistence, patience, and dedication in pursuing their goals. The concluding section of Superhuman Mind reiterates the journey towards realizing one's highest potential. It emphasizes that by applying the lessons from the book and taking bold, consistent actions, readers can achieve extraordinary results. The book concludes with a message of empowerment, urging readers to trust in their inherent abilities and strengths and to continue on their path of self-discovery and growth. It encourages staying focused on progress rather than perfection and reminds readers of their incredible capacity for transformation and achievement.